In the eerie town of Raven's Hollow, Isabella's nights were plagued by more than just mere dreams. They were harrowing journeys into the abyss, where terror lurked in every shadow. As the moon cast its sinister glow, Isabella felt the tendrils of fear tightening around her, dragging her into a realm of darkness and despair. Every night it's the same nightmare. Isabella found herself alone in a scary-looking forest. She couldn't fathom what dark force was behind these relentless nightmares, but a chilling sense of malevolence hung in the air. Each night, she braced herself for the horrors that awaited. A giant snake appears from the shadows of the night menacingly. It kept threatening her to let the fear she feels engulf her and not fight it. I am the fear, let me in, it hissed. Isabella felt trapped in a nightmarish cycle, with no escape in sight. One storm-laden night, Isabella's nightmares took a turn for the worse. She found herself ensnared in a forsaken forest, the trees twisting like gnarled fingers reaching for her soul. A sense of impending doom gripped her as she realized she was not alone in this sinister realm. From the depths of the shadows emerged a giant serpent, its twisted form contorting with unnatural movements. Isabella's heart pounded with fear, but her limbs betrayed her, rooted to the cursed ground. The creature's eyes gleamed with hunger as it slithered closer, its grotesque features contorted with malice. Isabella, let me in, it hissed. This where Isabella usually wakes up in cold sweat, but this time, she had enough of this nightly torment. Summoning every ounce of courage, Isabella stood still and confronted the creature. She then realized, this is my dream. I am in control of everything that goes on in here. Isabella found her strength. I have the power to do as I want. She concentrated and made the greatest sword in the world she knew, the Excalibur, magically appear in her hands. Drawing strength from her newfound courage, Isabella focused her will on banishing the abomination from her mind by confronting it. She fought every giant snake that surrounded her, killing each creature with Excalibur and the fighting skills of King Arthur himself. The battle was fierce, but in the end, Isabella was the ultimate victor. In a blinding eruption of light, the nightmare shattered, dissipating into the void. Isabella jolted awake, her body drenched in a cold sweat, but this time, a newfound determination burned within her, a conviction that she could defy even the darkest of nightmares. As the dawn broke over Raven's Hollow, Isabella emerged from the depths of her torment, the lingering shadows of the night retreating in the face of the morning light. Though the memory of her ordeal lingered, she strode forward with a newfound resolve, ready to confront whatever horrors awaited her with unwavering courage and resilience.